This is going to be a quick introduction to discussions or forums on the LMS at Blue Ridge Community College. It's important that you understand these because it, as you interact with them, it may be intuitive and you may be technically savvy and this is not difficult, but if you struggle at all or you don't know how to interact, it's important to understand just some quick basics. You're probably not going to get all five kinds of forums in one class, but your instructor will choose one of those. So these are the five kinds of forums there are, and I'll walk through them just a little bit. What's most important is not that you know the name, but rather that you know how you're supposed to interact with them and which button to push, because sometimes that isn't very clear. While there are five types of forums, I will point out that these basically break into two kinds of forums. You basically have forums uh, where you post a topic and then other students will reply to you. So the instructor will tell you what you're supposed to uh, give a topic on and then you will then a hit that you're going to add a topic and then all the other students will have an opportunity to basically interact with you and respond to your topic. So if it were like what recipe did you like and someone did hamburgers, someone else did tacos, someone else did chicken, then those would all be their own separate topics if that makes sense and then uh, people respond to those topics. So that means you're posting a topic after that you get a prompt from the teacher saying what you should uh, post a topic on. You're starting essentially your own thread. Okay. Secondly, we have these where you're just supposed to reply to the instructor. This is in a single simple discussion or Q&A form and your instructor will put a prompt up there and you're supposed to basically respond to the instructor. Now after you all reply to the instructor's prompt, then of course your fellows may very well decide that they would like to comment on your uh, comment on the instructor's initial prompt. But that's a little bit different and I'm going to show you how that works. Within the LMS, your instructor will probably post a discussion forum if for one of your online classes, that's how they want you to interact. Now, it's going to look like this right here. I have a bunch of these because I'm going to show you each kind, but clearly an instructor would not be posting more than a single discussion in a week. Okay, with that said, let me go ahead and show you the first one. Now, this is what a student will see. This is a standard form for general use. If you click in there, this is basically going to ask you to add a topic. So I get in there and then um, I see what my fellows have already posted and they've all posted things about their favorite kind of dog. Now you see this title here? That's what they're going to see with your discussion topic. So all of these people have already posted something and basically you can click in and see what uh, all these people said about Devin's topic or Esther's or so on. So you click into these and you'll see what the other students have already posted. However, I'm going to post right now uh, my own discussion topic. So I have to hit add discussion topic. This is the title that the other students will see as I get ready to begin. It says up here, it says I'm supposed to start a discussion and I'm supposed to reply to two. This will vary depending on what your instructor has requested. Now, this is a search. You don't need to search the forums. Um, you are going to add the discussion topic that we already pressed. Now the subject I'm going to put in here, I'm just going to type in Labrador Retriever, and then I'll put in some information about that. And then all I need to do is come over here and hit post a forum, and my entry will be in with everyone else's. Now after I've done that, what I can do is I can come down and I can click into someone else's and then I can respond to theirs because the instructor has asked me to. So if I click into Anna Ables, it will show me what she and other people have written. And this is Anna's post, so Anna's the person who started this. And then these other individuals are replying to her poodle comment. Now, if I have something I want to say to Anna, I will hit reply as well. And I can put in some more information here as a student and hit post a form. The only other thing I'd like to show you is in all of these, if you are going to post something other than just text, when you click into it, you'll see there's an advanced here. This, if you choose advanced, then you can put in links and it gives you these HTML icons. If you are unfamiliar with that, that's fine. But this is how you would do something a little bit more sophisticated in your response. If your instructor said, hey, I would like you to add a picture or would like you to add a video link or a link to something you've done. Okay, so that's all there really is to the uh, initial forum type, the standard forum for general use. Now, the next forums I want to show you are other forums that are very similar. They're asking you to add a discussion topic. 
this standard form and the standard form with a blog-like format are essentially identical for you, so you won't have to learn a different thing there. The other one that asks you to add a discussion topic yourself is each person posts one discussion. Okay, now same thing here. Uh, this this week the instructor has posted this, and I'm going to use the same illustration I show I talked about earlier. Imagine I'm in a cooking class. I have been asked as a student to supply my own favorite recipe and have other people see that and comment on it because I came up with this recipe myself. So what I do here as a student, view grades will show me the grades I've received previously. That's a distractor. I don't have to search for them, so don't worry about that. What I will see is add discussion topic. Now, for this one, it's called each person posts one discussion. If you add a discussion topic, you can't go back and add a new topic. You can only add one. So uh, if you do this inadvertently and it and you uh, add something wrongly, when you go back to it, you're going to see that it, no, this button disappears. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead for this student, and um, I see all of these recipes, and I'm just going to really quickly add a discussion topic, and I click Add Topic, and sure enough, uh, same thing as before, I'll have this subject line that shows up as the title that other students will see. So I've added that comment there, filled in my little recipe, if I wanted, once again, to add a picture, or if I wanted to add a link, I would choose the advanced key here, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. I post that to a forum, and now, uh, just like everyone else, I've got my scrambled eggs up here, and then I have asked, been asked to comment on two people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to comment on Carly's lasagna recipe, and there that is. And what I'm going to do, I just come down here, and I'm going to hit reply, and I can put in whatever I will there for a comment. And then I'm just going to hit post to forum, and it's up there. And the instructor will know that it's up there. So that is basically how it works if you're given one of those that asks you to add a discussion topic. As I mentioned, some of these you can just reply. With that said, a single simple discussion is a very simple kind of a discussion format because you're just responding to what the instructor put as their initial post. So I hit click single and simple discussion, and then I look up here, and it says um, what I have to do. It says I, they want me to comment on and then reply to two of my fellow's comments. It, the instructor prompt to which you must reply is share your thoughts about the value of paper currency versus digital like Bitcoin. Now, I don't have an ad discussion topic. All I have is reply. I'm not going to reply to my fellow students first. I'm going to reply to the instructor first because that's one of the things I'm required to do. So I hit reply. So that's my reply to the instructor's prompt. I'm not using advanced, but we know what that does now. I hit post a forum, and there it is, and my fellows will see that. And then if I want to respond to someone else, same as before, I'll come and hit reply. I'll be able to put that in. I think that should be self-evident by now. But that's how this type of forum works, and we have one more that's a little different. This is called a Q&A forum, and it's different because what happens here is you are going to log in and you're going to have a prompt that the instructors put up there, and then they're going to ask you to put in your opinion and reply to that prompt, and you won't see any other of your fellows' responses themselves. Instead, you'll just see the prompt your instructor gave you until after you've entered that, and you wait like half an hour, you log back in, and if other people have already responded, you'll see theirs. Now, the reason that people use this very often is so you're not influenced by what other people said. Maybe that we've all been studying the same stuff this semester, and we're going to at, we're being asked to share what our final paper is going to be on. Well, if there were a couple of really terrific topics, people might be influenced by those and want to do something similar. So I'll come over here as a student, and I will go to Q&A forum. And then once I see the Q&A forum, I'll look down here, and the only person that I'm seeing right now is my instructor. And what I can do is I can click the topic itself, but this is what you need to know. View grades is not that. Subscribe is not that. You're going to click your instructor's prompt. Now it says, what is your choice for a research paper? So you're going to be able to put that in here. And now I've posted that, and I'm going to hit post a forum. At this point in time, my uh, response is visible to myself, and if my fellow students have already posted theirs, when I come back in like 15 minutes or half an hour and I click into this, I will see everyone else's, and then I can reply to theirs. So for this one, you really can't add a discussion topic, you can just make replies. Okay, with that said, this should help you understand how to use the forums. I appreciate your time.